Let's start with the installation of Docker. It's just one command away to get ready with Docker. This is on my Linux Mint and Ubuntu based distribution. So we can do sudo apt get install docker.io. We are ready with Docker. Let's verify with Docker version. Do Docker version. And for more detailed information on the Docker version, you can do Docker info. Now moving on to verify the loaded images or all the existing images, do docker images. This shows all the loaded application images. Since we haven't loaded any locally, it's empty. To verify for the existing containers, you can do docker ps which returns the existing containers but we do not have any yet moving on to our first sample hello world with docker do docker run hello world which is the image name here you can see it doesn't exist locally since it being pulled from the docker registry so the hello world image is being pulled from the docker registry let's do docker images here we can see the hello world image which we just pulled and we do not have any containers running yet Let's load some containerized applications. You can search for pre-built images of applications that you want to install from Docker Hub. Let's search for MySQL. Here it return number of images for MySQL which are pre-built and are ready to run. To just pull the image, you can do Docker pull with image name from above results whereas to pull and run do docker run and name it and assign a password for the root user with image name which you can copy from the above results and mention the version which you want to get loaded Since it doesn't exist locally, it is being pulled from the Docker Hub registry and it says pulling from pulling from the image name. You can also build your own images since we have one already so you don't have to build it again. It seems to be installed now. Let's do docker images. Now here you can see the earlier hello world image with the new MySQL image and now a container which is running with MySQL image. So basically you containerized your MySQL into a MySQL image into a container. Let's get into the shell of MySQL, do docker, execute it. 
and the name of the image and as root enter the password here you can see you are into the shell of mysql let's do show databases here you can see the default databases of mysql perfect Let's check for the docker images again. Yeah, it's just the same. Let's get into the MySQL container to actually view the log file of MySQL to do it with the image name and bash. Now we are into the bash. Let's check the log file. So as you know already, this is the log file of MySQL. Oh, it should be exit. Let's try to um, remove the image. It should be Docker. To remove images, it should be RMI. And with and either you can enter the image ID or image name. Oh, since the container of MySQL is already running, you cannot remove the image directly. So let's remove the container. So now we remove the hello world image. Now all we have is docker container of MySQL. To stop the container of MySQL, you can actually do docker stop with the container ID. Yes, it is stopped. Now you can go ahead and remove the image. Since there is no container of MySQL that is being run, Docker PS minus A actually gives you the containers which are not active or which are not running. So to remove the container, you can do Docker RM. Where it, when it comes to images, it should be RMI. And to remove the container, it should be RM with the image ID, with the container ID, sorry. Now you can see there is only one container. Thank you.